Today we are going to talk about a very interesting toy, a paper fan. When I blow air above it, it rotates. Even the slightest breeze is enough to rotate it. So if I keep far away from me and blow air, it rotates. It comes in various forms. Kids usually mount it on their cycle and when the cycle moves, it rotates. But the question that we'll explore today is why does it rotate? The wind that I am blowing is in downward direction. Why is the wind in downward direction able to create a circular motion? Not only this, even if I drop it, it will rotate. Did you see? It rotates. Well, to understand it better, I will use a different paper fan like this. The paper fan that I used earlier looked like this. And now I'll try to rotate this paper fan it doesn't rotate which means the shape of the paper fan is important do you see the difference this paper fan is flat while here there are four blades each blades are twisted in a particular direction now here lies the physics behind it now observe carefully the blades of the paper fan do you see the tilting on the blades Unlike the flat paper fan, well, these tiltings play the important role to create a rotating force. Let us try to understand it now. When air falls from the top, air does not fall on the blades normally, but at a certain angle. It is due to the tilting of the blades. Now due to this angle, there is always a horizontal component of the force on all the four blades as shown. Now all of these four horizontal forces, they combine together because they are all in same rotatory direction and that is why it rotates. Now when you compare it with the case of a flat paper fan, now when the air falls from the top, it doesn't hit the blade at an angle, it hits it normally. So all that will happen on the blade is it will just bend a little down, it will not rotate. Now I'll show a special kind of paper fan where the blades are tilted but it will not rotate. So look at this paper fan. Now this paper fan will not rotate. Now can you guess why? Well observe the difference between this does not rotate while this rotates. Now if you look carefully, the tilting of the blades are not in the correct order. So. When the air falls here, there will be a force that will be generated in this direction while the force generated on this blade will be in the opposite direction. Similarly, the force generated on this will be in this direction, force generated on this blade will be in the opposite direction. So in total, the forces will cancel and it will not rotate. So therefore, the tilting and the sequence of tilting is important. The people fan in my right hand rotates while the paper fan in my left hand does not rotate because it does not have the correct tilting of the blades. Here the forces are cancelling out while in this case the forces are adding up. So every paper fan that you see will have this kind of sequencing 